hello good evening good afternoon good morning uh, based on wherever you are now this is a demo video explaining and uh, depicting that uh, about my teaching style presenting method uh, this video is uh, uh, part of uh, one of my presentation uh, or deliver lecture on general uh, marketing requirements for fruits and vegetable uh, and what different uh, rules applies to fruits and vegetable when somebody wants to export them to Europe or uh, in the European Union uh, countries so this presentation is in German but I am translating it to in English uh, for the sake of this uh, demo video and I will uh, of course uh, update or prepare the English version of this presentation when uh, given the opportunity or uh, included in this uh, online course uh, for learn uh, preparing a, a video course uh, for different platforms like Udemy or other Coursera etc. So there are different marketing requirements uh, uh, and there are uh, special marketing requirements and then there are uh, UNEC marketing requirements for fruits and vegetable and it depends on uh, so in this presentation uh, there are different topics that I will gonna to cover that first topic is uh, an brief introduction about the journal marketing requirements then there will be a brief introduction and small overview of the UNEC uh, regulations for fruits and vegetable and then there will be journal points about uh, overall marketing requirements and then there will be an example from one software called Alaska that uh, is uh, a software developed by German Ministry of Food and Agriculture and it depicts different uh, quality defects and it uh, sets uh, criteria uh, for inspection of fruits and vegetables. Then at the end I will summarize this uh, whole presentation uh, and I will discuss the journal or the most important points discussed during the whole presentation so it's very important uh, before uh, choosing any international destination for export of fruits and vegetables to know about the these regulations because based on these regulations the fruits and vegetables are checked or inspected at different entry points uh, dip, uh, like uh, different airports and also different seaports so the first topic is journal marketing uh, requirements for fruits and vegetable and uh, when we talk about the journal marketing requirements so uh, there are three uh, main uh, requirements the first is uh, that minimum quality any product fruits or vegetable which is intended to be delivered or exported to germany or any other european country needs to be in a such a state of quality that uh, it is uh, that is accepted by the uh, this uh, standard that benchmark that is set by this uh, standard then ungaba the speckers or un, uh, upsender so second point that uh, the labeling label requirement of this uh, uh, is should be in should include the information about the companies uh, who have packed uh, these fruits and vegetable and then third part is that label of these fruits and vegetables should also contain the name of the land which is exporting these fruits and vegetables then there are a uh, second category of the products uh, that uh, uh, ha don't have general marketing requirements but they have uh, specific uh, marketing requirements so then there are products uh, which uh, they uh, although they ha do have specific or special marketing requirements but they also have uh, uh, journal marketing requirements like when we talk about apples and we, we our intention or the purpose of use is processing or we talk about the peers and then the purpose of uh, use or intention of use is processing then we don't uh, imply uh, journal specific market requirements on these but we rather imply uh, journal marketing requirements on them so then there is a huge list of uh, other products that imply I'll journal marketing requirement so it's important when we talk about uh, general marketing requirement and also the fruits that have specific market requirements so uh, sometimes the fruits don't have 
specific marketing requirement but when they follow uh, unique marketing requirements then the labeling requirement uh, should be according to a specific uh, market uh, requirement so this is an important criteria to understand uh, what uh, market requirement you need to observe uh, while exporting products to germany and also uh, what label requirements uh, you are bound to follow otherwise uh, your products can be uh, expelled or discarded or destroyed at uh, different entry points uh, at the under the um, under the supervision of different uh, custom officers or uh, the inspectors from uh, ministry of food and agriculture i hope uh, uh, that is already finished five minutes uh, more than five minutes so i hope it serves a purpose thank you very much for your time and understanding uh, bye bye